Visit the Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn at home, five-point favorites here. The total at 229, the money line at minus 230. And this total has probably moved about as much as any line on the board today. Opened at 223, and it's basically just been smashed all the way up to 229. A few blips here and there. But Chris and I maybe don't agree with the market, do we, Chris? No, I mean, this feels like a gross overreaction for me. Um, obviously, the Wizards are coming off their offensive performance of the season. I, I I wouldn't be surprised if the Wizards never scored that many points again all season because even though they're uh, a developing team and exciting team in some ways, they got some younger players this year, they're not going to do that on a game-to-game -game basis, right? And I think we kind of saw that from the Timberwolves against the Warriors when they faced them a few days ago. Like, the Timberwolves are just kind of lost right now. Like they, they, even with Rudy Gobert, they just don't have a lot of defense. Um so I'm expecting some massive regression from the Wizards offense tonight. I mean, we're talking about, I talked about on the show yesterday, the three minutes left in the second quarter, the Wizards were shooting over 70%. Uh, that, you know, that doesn't happen in the NBA. Shouldn't happen against a tall team like the Timberwolves, who, you know, apparently reinvested in their defense, but here we are. Uh, the Nets, on the other hand, are trying to emphasize defense on a nightly basis. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But the last time these two teams faced, it worked really well. And I kind of like that for this game, too, because the Nets dropped 128 points on the Wizards in their last game. So it's probably going to be a point of emphasis for the Wizards to slow down the Nets. Uh, whereas the Nets, you know, Kevin Durant's talking about it a lot. Claxton's talking about it a lot. You know, they want to step up consistently on defense. They're a top 10 defense in November. Both teams go at a slower pace. So, look, I, I just I, I can't expect things like Goodwin to be five five of six off the bench and, you know, Chris Bird to go four of four, you know, from the bench, from the Wizards, it's just like everybody on the Wizards seemed to be shooting over 65% uh, two days ago. So I think it's going to be a slower paced game, more defense oriented. We know the Wizards are always that way anyway. So I'm taking under 229. And, and just to put it into perspective, it came out at 223 and a half and I was comfortable with the under there. I mean, I, I had this game at 218. So I have it low. I don't quite have it at 218. I had it basically right around where it opened, 224-ish or so. And sorry, Mark Holmes in the chat. We are not going to give you an over. I like the under here, too. <laughs> All the reasons that you mentioned. The pace has been extremely slow for these teams. I think you make a great point about us seeing a little regression here from the Wizards after their best performance of the year. No Ben Simmons tonight for the Nets. And you might think maybe that hurts them defensively, but that helps to keep the pace down. That limits what they're going to try to do from a fast break. break excuse me, a fast break perspective. He's really what drives that kind of movement for this Nets team. So I, I totally agree. I think we're going to see kind of a slow-paced, kind of ba back-and-forth, punchy kind of battle here. So I'm going to take the under, too. And um, I think I took it at 227, 228 earlier today. Maybe go back and take a little bit of an alt-under at, like, 225. Um, Ski, did you have time to look into this game? Uh, well, what I will say is if you tell me Ben Simmons is out, I would probably look towards Kevin Durant to maybe help out on the rebounds. Somebody's got to help in that area tonight. So um, especially with you guys looking under, that means it's going to be a lot of brick shots and a lot of opportunities for rebounds. So maybe that's where I'll start on this game. And if I'm looking at the side, I just feel like the Wizards aren't really playing good basketball right now. I think they've covered one game the last two weeks. And ever since, well, really, the Nets had that little push when, you know, Kyrie was off of the team, and then now that he's back, I feel like they're playing good again. So I think they continue to keep it going. Five, it's not too big of a number in my opinion. You're just asking them to win by a couple of possessions. I would be leaning Brooklyn here. I would, you know, endorse you guys as under and look towards Kevin Durant over his rebounds if I'm going for a player prop. I like that player prop. You're right. No, Ben Simmons, there'll be a lot of rebounds on the board, but two official plays. Really the same play. Chris and I will both take under 229 tonight. And what we hope is a nice, slow-paced slog of a basketball game. Mm -hmm.